Hi all, welcome to the new session. In this session, we will learn how to add feedback activity in Moodle. So this feedback activity is very important. Using this tool, you can collect students feedback very easily. So go to your Moodle course page first. So now add the activity feedback by clicking add an activity or resource. So here you can see a feedback tool. Click this one with a mic symbol, right? Sorry, with a loudspeaker symbol. Then click add. First, you need to provide feedback name, general feedback. I'm giving this one as general feedback. Then you can provide a description here. So availability, you can give question and submission settings, anonymous, or if you want to record user's name, you can give that one. Allow multiple submissions, you can prefer it, whether it is yes or no. Auto number questions, yes, so that your questions will be numbered. After submission, show an analysis page. If you click yes, then the students will see the analysis page. No need to do so. So next, then save and display. So I just want to collect teachers feedback from students. So for that first edit questions. Here also you will have options to get these questions from templates. Currently no template is available. It's just like question bagging in QC. So, first edit questions, add question, is it long or text answer, so I am here also multiple choice and multiple choice rated. So if I select this multiple choice rated, scaled questions will appear, which means for good it, it raise 1, for poor it raise 0, etc. So I am using this multiple choice rated. So first question. I am giving so this is the first question knowledge of the teacher so is a required question so you need to put a tick here to show that it is mandatory to answer this question so multiple choice type it is single answer adjustment vertical or horizontal where which means that your choices will appear as vertical or as horizontal hide the not selected option so in all options, there is a default option that is not selected. So it is better to hide that one. So I gave, I gave S here. S or no. So I gave S here. So this is the multiple choice values. For poor, my first choice is poor and its value is 0. So use one line for each answer. And it should be given in this format. 0 slash poor. Then the next line 1 slash good. If you want to give other choice 2 slash excellent. So that teacher will get the mark accordingly. Position first position save question. So this is so this is the thing you need to give a question. You need to check whether this is a required one. Question multiple choice type adjustment. This is not selected option, click as multiple choice values, then click save question. So this is very easy. So now you can see the question. Knowledge of the teacher. Poor is there, good is there, excellent is there with their rated values. If you want to add other question, here you can Select any you can select a multiple choice question, you can select that one and add the question without this rated values. In this way, you can submit a feedback to students. We can see how this feedback is reflecting at student end. So these are the resources and activities we have added. So here students can see a feedback session 
has been generated by the teacher. Click on that, general feedback. Then click answer the questions. First question, knowledge of the teacher. Poor, good, excellent. So the student selects good, submit your answers. That's it. Continue. Now we can see what happened in our teacher page. So go to your teacher page. Back to my teacher page and select the general feedback again. So you can see the report submitted and says one. So here there is an option at the top show responses. You can see here show responses. Click show responses. So here we selected anonymous mode. So you are not seeing student's name here. So response number one is his or her choice is good and you can download the report so here also so many options you can select comma separate csv file so the microsoft excel is good one so that you can work on that work on the sheet later so click download this is the generated report response one first student and said for the question knowledge of the teacher is good if you have many if you have other questions they will appear here and the students response will appear here so in this way you can collect the students feedback and you can generate the report so this tool is very important using this you can collect your feedback from your students then in this way you can enhance the quality of your classes hope you understand how to add the feedback tool in your course page and how to generate report. Thank you.